Technology never stands still. It's always changing, adapting, and progressing. And oftentimes, things that seemed improbable one year can quickly start becoming possible only a few short years afterwards. Wearable computers seemed like a fanciful idea only recently, but now they're pretty much the next big thing to go mainstream. With this in mind, here's a list of 10 interesting futuristic technologies that we'll most probably be seeing in the near future that I think we will all be excited for. With that being said, let's jump straight into the video. 3D Printed Food 3D printing has taken the world by storm, and slowly but surely, people are being won over by the idea that it's for more than just gadgets. Food is also something that can be feasibly 3D printed. German company BioZoon is harnessing the power of 3D printing to create Senio Pro, a range of 3D printable powder mixtures that solidifies when printed, but also very quickly melts when eaten. The main target for this new 3D printable food are elderly patients who suffer from dysphagia or the inability to swallow. Titan Arm The Titan Arm is the work of a team from the University of Pennsylvania and is a strength-enhancing upper body exoskeleton that will help you lift an extra 40 pounds. Granted, it's a far cry from the power loader we see and love in the Alien films, but the Titan Arm was designed with a more humble goal in mind. The Titan Arm is built to help rehabilitate people who've suffered serious arm injuries or strokes, as well as provide some extra strength and protection for anyone who lifts heavy objects for a living. To keep costs low, the Titan Arm uses 3D printing techniques, allowing the prototype development costing to be reduced to £1,200. This and the fact that the developers gained extra funding by winning the 2013 James Dyson Award means that the Titan Arm may just become a commonplace site in the near future. Talos, aka the Iron Man Suit Talos stands for Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, a combat suit that the US Army hopes will become a reality within the next four years. The Talos provides ballistic, shock and fire protection for special operations soldiers. The aim is to provide these soldiers with better, more mobile and more versatile protection than what currently exists. The development of the Talos suit will be a collaborative effort between universities, government agencies and corporations. While there is yet to be a working prototype, development is proceeding at a rapid pace. The head of the US Special Operations Command, Admiral William McRaven, is confident that unpowered prototypes will be ready in June. Don't expect to be able to buy this, of course, although there's every chance that some of the tech here could eventually trickle down to civilian uses. Aerofex Aero X If you're a Star Wars fan, the Aerofex Aero X, a real-life equivalent of the Star Wars speeder bike, is definitely something you want to keep your eyes on. The Aero X is the result of more than 15 years of research and development. Powered by a water-cooled 240 horsepower engine and two large rotors, the Aero X can hover at an altitude of 12 feet and at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour power. It can also carry up to 310 pounds. Also, as a result of this extended research and development period, Aerofex claims to have overcome the dangerous coupling effect that can arise due to using two rotors, ensuring that the Aero X will be safe and easy to control. The Aero X is currently available for pre-order for a refundable $5,000 deposit. The final unit is scheduled to be available in 2019 at the price of $85,000. Fast Charging Battery StoreDot, a groundbreaking nanotechnology company, recently unveiled a prototype for a next-generation battery that harnesses all their knowledge of nanotechnology and energy storage technologies. StoreDot uses bioorganic nanodots that have increased electrocapacitance and electrolyte performance. The science is a bit complex, but the outcome is simple. As a result of these nanodots, the battery can be fully charged in only 30 seconds. They're also apparently cheap to manufacture, so who knows, we may be seeing super fast batteries in our smartphones before too long. Super Maglev Train Chinese researchers have been recently looking into the next phase of train transportation, beyond even maglev technology. 
China and Japan already have very fast maglev trains that are capable of reaching over 260 miles per hour. But the new generation maglev technology, dubbed Super Maglev, will apparently be even faster. Super Maglev is built on the same maglev technology, but it encapsulates the train in a vacuum tube, further reducing air resistance, allowing for higher, mind-boggling speeds. Researchers claim that such enclosed tube maglev systems could see trains reaching speeds of up to 1,800 miles per hour. Of course, there are doubts about the feasibility of constructing long vacuum tubes and keeping them pressurized. But if scientists and engineers can figure that out, we may one day be able to cross large distances quicker and more safer than we've ever imagined possible. Jetpacks Jetpack International are making great strides in jetpack technology, H202 and H202Z jetpacks. As the name suggests, both the H202 and H202Z are hydrogen peroxide fueled jetpacks that will allow users to fly at up to 77 miles per hour at a maximum height of 250 feet. So far though, the higher capacity H202Z is only capable of a maximum flight length of 33 seconds and a maximum travel distance of 3300 feet. The Jetpack International H202 and H202Z are actually currently available, albeit not commercially. You can assemble the Jetpack yourself if you have $100,000 lying around. Prosthetics with a sense of touch In March 2013, Dennis Arbo Sorensen had the privilege of testing a new type of prosthetic hand, created by a group of European engineers and scientists. Unlike conventional prosthetics, the new prosthetic hand connects directly to the remaining nerves in Dennis's upper arm. This means that the hand has a sense of touch and is actually controllable. Blindfolded tests showed that Dennis was indeed able to differentiate between different items such as a bottle, a baseball, and a mandarin orange. It also could exert different levels of pressure, allowing Dennis to touch, hold, or grab something. While this prosthetic hand is indeed a great leap forward, it's still far from ready for widespread use. The arm required electrodes to be implanted directly into Sorensen, and tests still needed to be carried out to determine the durability of these electrodes. In addition, the hand required a lot of processing power and was hooked up to a laptop. Researchers are working on making the processing computer small enough to be integrated within the implant itself. Cave 2 Cave 2 is a hybrid reality environment that lets artists, scientists, and engineers become fully immersed in their research. The Cave 2 is a 360-degree wraparound structure consisting of 72 LCD panels, a 20-speaker surround sound system, and a 10-camera optical motion tracking system. With 3D glasses, scientists and engineers will actually be able to virtually experience and move through anything of their choosing, whether it's the human body or planets in the solar system. The Cave 2 holds an immense amount of potential, especially for situations involving large amounts of data requiring visualization. High-Power Wireless Charging Wireless charging up until now usually means charging via a pad rather than via wires and cables. But if you ask the team from the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, wireless charging can also be done a distance away. The team recently demonstrated a prototype of a new dipole coil resonance system, or DCRS, that can wirelessly power devices up to 15 feet away. The DCRS system achieves this using a magnetic field and is apparently powerful enough to charge up to 40 mobile phones and can even power larger devices like a TV. The future looks to provide some exciting things for us. What would you be most excited to see in the future? Let us know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.